A man from the nation of Jordan recently displayed a pretty unique and amazing skill in order to win a world's record. At a young age, the man realized that when he heard a sentence, that not just a word, but a full sentence, his mind would quickly calculate how many letters were in that sentence. And so, not long ago, he was read ten sentences, and in just a few seconds, told how many letters were in each, and did so faster than anyone else had ever done that. You know, the human mind can do some amazing things. There are some people who can do complex mathematics just in their minds. There are people who, through their thinking, can conjure up beautiful music and art. There are those who can think through difficult personal or even international stresses and maybe not solve them, but can come up with very helpful ideas. You know, the Bible has a lot to say about the mind. God expects us to use our ability to think and to reason to his glory. After all, we are to love him with, among other things, all our mind. Mark chapter 12. But in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8, Paul gave a famous list when he said, Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. In writing those words, Paul was saying to let your mind dwell on, to think about it. You could even put logically calculate all of these wonderful and God-honoring things. If we do, then there is simply not room for us to think about evil and impure and unjust things. Instead, let's let our minds be focused on what God would have us to most deeply consider. And so today and every day, let's keep our central focus on making sure that our minds are saturated with the things of God, including every letter of every sentence of his entire holy word.